What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, I got an unboxing for you. Uh, this comes to me from White Mountain Knives, something I picked up uh, about a week ago. And I uh, just got it in the mail. Actually, I've had it for a day or two, but been really busy. Haven't had a chance to record any videos, and I wanted to do an unboxing of it because this is what I'm pretty excited about. This one's pretty affordable, and if it's uh, any good at all, I think, I think it's going to be good. It's made by Best Tech. But it is their uh, budget brand, Best Tech Man. And uh, unboxing knife is the Benchmade Bug Out, by the way, with uh, custom scale division, uh, red dark matter scales on it. You can find custom scale division on Instagram. All right, lots of peanuts in there. This is called the Ronin. And the reason I'm using the Benchmade bug out for my unboxing knife is the access lock. It's got a little weight to it. I never feel that. So, All right, a little card there. Three and a quarter inch blade. I can't remember what they call their access lock, but when I do my review of this knife, I will let you know. The springs are a little stiff at the moment. For sure there are different variations of this knife different color g10s different finishes on the blades satins and i think there's black and this is the stonewash finish blade g10 scales steel liner steel pocket clip three and a quarter inch blade ergos are really good right off the bat I'll tell you that already really good yeah got some weight to it though a little heftier than i thought it would be not bad i'd say close wow Man, that's like a real tight. That may need a little break-in period. Yeah, when I really sling it out there, <laughs> it's getting stuck. Hear that? That's not good. Hmm. Let's see if we can break this in a little bit real fast. And also just leave it sitting like that overnight and it'll help expand those springs out but i don't think the springs are what's causing it to give me really bad lock stick all right all right it's getting better really stiff really really stiff though but i love the way this thing looks i love the blade shape handle shape it's affordable with the discount code, it ends, ends up being like $40. I think it's $45 or something like that. If you use my code BEDC10, you get 10% off. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to uh, sit and play with this one, see if, what's going on with them. We have to do a disassembly of it because that lock is just... It's like I'm getting lock stick on the crossbar lock there. Only when I really fling it out... If I do it softly, it doesn't do it. If it locks up softly, I can pull it back fine, but if I give it a hard flick, well, that one didn't do it. That one did. Now it's stuck again. Hmm. Yeah. We'll be doing a disassembly of this very soon. Keep an eye out for that if you're interested. And I'm going to try to break this in a little bit also. And I'm going to be, this is going to be a user, a work user knife. So I plan on using this at work, but I do not want to have to be using two hands to unlock it at work. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, first impressions is I'm not very impressed at the moment, but yeah, that may change. Um, may just, maybe some oil on the crossbar that is um, coming in contact with the blade where it locks up, cause unlock stick. You do not want any oil to make contact there. So that may be the issue. You may just be able to clean it without even disassembling it actually. Use a Q-tip. Let's try that real quick. A doodad and some rubbing alcohol. Here's some doodads. And here's some rubbing alcohol. Q-tip would probably be better for this because I can only get down in there so far. That's what she said anyway. 
Now let's try to clean this surface off right here. Right there where that crossbar lock locks in. Then let's try to get the crossbar lock also. See if that helped at all. No, it didn't. <clears throat> hmm. Man, I'm not having good luck with knives from White Mountain Knives recently. More budgety knives, anyway. I mean, I don't expect a $45 knife to be fantastic, you know what I mean? But I don't expect this either. I don't expect it taking two hands to disengage the lock. Yeah, I'm going to do a disassembly of it and see what's going on. I can tell you right off the bat, it is no Benchmade bug out, that's for sure. Not even in the same vicinity as a bug out, as far as being smooth in the action. But it is new, so I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a chance and uh, disassemble it and see what uh, see what I can figure out what's going on in there. And uh, I'll do a disassembly video, and we'll take a look and see how they do their access lock. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.